Hello, tan 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 tan. Welcome to my channel once again. How are you, beautiful? The grace of God. I've really missed you guys, and today I'm very much excited to be here. Okay, yeah. So, tell me what is going on with you. What is going on in your life? What is going on with your job? What is going on? With where you live, whatever you, whatever is going on with you, please let me know. And also remember to okay, the outsiders, those who are not Africans, who are not blacks, let's subscribe. Each and every one, I urge each and every one of you to subscribe. Okay, just click the subscription button and on the bell beside it so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first person to know. All right remember i need your subscription so remember to subscribe for me and let's keep the ball rolling yeah today we are i'm going to talk about how to grow your baby's hair those of you who don't know i live in ghana my name is original amakis and i'm married and i have twin babies at the time when i gave birth I needed someone to tell me or to teach me how to grow my baby's hair because they are twin, one boy and a girl. And the girl was not having hair because there, there is some belief in Ghana, some belief in Africa that when, uh, Ghana to be precise, sorry, when you are pregnant and you retouch your hair too much, your baby will not have hair. And when I was pregnant too, I was doing hair retouching, you know though i heard it but i thought it was not true or i thought it's african myth or african belief or something something like that so i didn't pay much attention to it so when i gave birth to her she was not having more hair okay so i needed someone to tell me or to teach me what to do so that i can grow her hair for her because i wanted her to you know to to be a beautiful girl so that she can you know she can be comfortable with her hair or she can braid her hair you know become a beautiful girl but um i didn't get i didn't get anything so i i heard of coconut oil yeah but i never tried coconut oil before but there is some product i tried it and now i'm i'm, I'm very excited her I'm very excited about her hair. She's having a beautiful hair. She's having a long hair, and it, her hair has also grown very well. And since I started using this product, I think I, I've used it for about not even up to a month, but I'm very much excited about the result or the outcome of it. Okay, but it's not it's it's not something new or it's not something that you don't know. It's a product that we all know. Okay, so today that's what we are going to talk about or that's what we are going to learn this is a channel that we learn a lot of things and we talk about a lot of things in life makeup lifestyle relationship and a whole lot okay yeah so today let's quickly go to the product i'm talking about we all know the products and ta -ta, this is the product you know when i bought it it was in this rubber and the product name, I know you are eager to know. Yes, the product name is Shea Butter. Yeah, as we all know, Shea Butter. I think most of African countries or when you go to African markets, you can get Shea Butter. So if you are outside, if you are not in Africa or if you are not in Ghana, where you can get Shea Butter. And Shea Butter too, I think we have two types of Shea Butter. We have the white one and the red one. So I'm going to be emphasized on the white one okay so the white shear butter because I uh, because I've used the white shear butter and it really works for me that's why I want to talk about the white shear butter the white shear butter you know is good for your skin it's also good for your hair if you want to grow your hair you can use the white white shear butter mm. if you have a beautiful skin you can use shear butter okay you know shea butter has been our daily it has been part and parcel of us it has been part of our life our daily life routine so
so today i'm going to talk about shea butter yes shea butter you heard me shea butter yeah so let's talk about shea butter yes i've used this shea butter for not even up to a month to grow my baby's hair and it has given me a very good result okay i'm very excited about it she's a young girl of one year so i don't want to show her in a camera or i don't want to be posting her on youtube video but as time goes on i will let you know how um it has really worked for for her okay yes so i'm not here to give you a fake a fake news or something like that this is a very good very very good but let, before you apply it on your baby's hair your baby must be seven months going because you add rub rub to it you have to add rub and you get this type of rub and also when you are not in ghana you go to african market you can easily get this type of rub as you can see this is the bag they've written rub on it yeah so yeah you apply it on the affected area okay yeah so this is the type of rub i use it all right yeah so what we are going to do is that you look for your shea butter then also you look for your rub this type of rub okay i don't know if any other rub will works but you can try it and see if any other rub also will works but what i'm what i'm recommending for you is this type of rub okay yeah so you look for your share butter in this type of rub then you also look for your container a container like this one okay you look for an empty container like this one all right so what you do is that you open your container you open your container okay you open your container you make sure your container is clean and there is nothing in it okay you open your container then you put some shea butter in it shea butter in it put some shea butter in your container all right put some shea butter in your container you look for a spoon or something you can use your finger if your fingers are clean then you open your rope open your rub. this one you can't open it with your fingers by all means it has to go through your your mouth you understand yeah so you open your rope okay open your rope like this then you pour this one the rope into the shea butter Okay, you pour everything into the shea butter. So let's quickly do it. This is a shea butter container, as you can see. You take your rope like this. Take your rope like this. You put it in the container. You understand? Put it in the container. You take it again. The rope is here, remember? take it again you put it in the container okay today i don't have a lot of rope in the house the only rope i'm having today is just one rope like this but if you are where you can easily get a rope where i live i can't go outside and buy rope by this time before i come back and you know continue with the video so i have only one rope in the house so you make sure you pour everything you take everything and put it in the shea butter okay then put it in the shea butter like this then after that you close it okay you look for um hot water you know you have to melt everything in the box together in the, in the container together so you look for shea butter and um, sorry you look for hot water then you put it the container in it and everything will melt together then you stir it so anytime you 
you finish bathing your baby you have to rub some at where there is no hair you have to rub some at his or her head so that the hair will grow and i'm recommending it for you it, it works like magic it really works like magic so if you really want to grow your baby's hair you use it and you, you melt it together the rub and then the shea butter you melt it together then you rub it on your baby's hair or in your baby's hair yeah also remember the shea butter and the rub is also good for massaging a baby if you really want your baby to sleep at night have a good sleep at night when your baby is from six months or three months upwards you can all you can only use the shea butter anytime you bath his or her in the evening you use shea butter and massage your baby she will sleep very very well for you to to sleep okay but when your baby is above nine months one year day and you want your baby you want to massage your baby very well you look for shea butter and also you look for rub but this one you are not going to let the rub to be plenty okay you use some small rub you put it in the shea butter you melt it together when your baby is one year two years upwards or nine months going you want your baby to have a good sleep you can use the shea butter and then the rub use it to massage your baby and your baby will really sleep very very well and it also helps when you want to grow your baby's hair yeah so today this is what you know we are talking about and i'm very much excited to let you guys know it has really works for me it has really really works for me now my baby is looking more prettier and more beautiful because she's having hair and i braid her hair for her and i'm very much excited i know i'm recommending it for you and i know it will really help you so if you know someone who has been complaining that my baby's hair is not growing i want to use something for my baby's hair what should I use to grow my baby's hair? Just tell the person to use shea butter and rub. Shea butter and rub. When your baby is from nine months going or one year, you can apply it. But when your baby is small, you don't have to apply the rub too much. You have to take a little rub and more shea butter. Then you rub it on her hair so that the hair will grow very fast and very nice for you. And you, the parents, will be much excited, like the way I am very excited to talk about this product. Okay, yeah. So remember to subscribe the video, click the subscription button for me. Remember to subscribe it for me. And until we meet again, you know, it's bye bye for now. Bye.